I have one clean shot. The last victim of the Pike County massacre died from one gunshot. Evan Millward continues to follow testimony in this trial very closely. That's now been more than six years in the making. Evan, so what did we actually learn today? Yeah, a little bit. Kenneth Roden was the last victim to be found back in April 2016. It was hours after seven of his other family members, and it was in part because his trailer was so far away from everyone else way down here. We heard again today. He was shot just once and it was right through his right eye. Kenneth Roden lived miles from the rest of the family in an extremely remote part of the county. In fact, he had to prop his cell phone up in a window to try and get any service there. Investigators say he had a motion detector at the front of his property that should have alerted him to someone in the driveway. He also, you might have seen the pictures a little bit ago, had marijuana in a shed nearby. The coroner said today he didn't wake up before he was shot. His eyes were closed because the bullet went through his eyelids. Did you see any evidence of any other type of injuries on Mr. Roden's body? Anything you consider a defensive wound or anything similar? No. So the focus of testimony now is ballistics, the bullets that were found at each of those four crime scenes. It's part of a number of experts the state will be calling to show the jury the evidence to tie it to the Wagner family. They have to show this because we learned today there was no Wagner family members DNA at any of those four crime scenes. Craig. All right. Thank you.